welcome to this back of the net match day vlog. We're here at Dean Court early. It's a Tuesday, it's a huge game for AFC Bournemouth. We welcome Leicester, top of the championship, but they're up against it. Leeds and Ipswich are breathing down their neck. So it's going to be a much changed Foxes side tonight against who knows for AFC Bournemouth. Look, it's a big, big game. Maybe we can take into the game some of our brilliant momentum against Manchester City. Yes, it was a loss, but the performance was superb. And look, if we win this, we're 90 minutes away from Wembley. Let's get in the tent. Come on. The magic of the FA Cup, it's here, it's Leicester City. We could be through to a quarter-final, only the third time it will have ever happened. Really? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, 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 you know, never got past that, so... Well, Jonathan you know. Woodgate was the manager the last time we did it. This uh, time, yes, no, I remember Riola. that, that was a lovely little run. And he loves, he loves Cup semi-finals, he's done it twice in La Liga. How do you fancy this one tonight? Do you think we can get something? Do you know, I, I've, I've not seen the teams yet. You're going to get team news from someone else in a minute, but I've not seen the teams yet, or what Leicester are going to do. I think we'll go quite strong. Yeah. I've heard they're going to make 11 changes. I mean, if, if there's ever a chance, this is it. Hello. Are you all right? Yeah, good, you? Yeah, good, mate. Uh, FA Cup action, mate. Yeah. What a game to return to. A game that could see us 90 minutes from Wembley. Well, yeah, I thought, you know, why bother with Newcastle and Man City when you can have Leicester and Burnley? So that's why I'm back, mate. Last time I chatted to this fella, he said that Bournemouth were going to beat Man City 4 2. <laughs> turned out to be 1 0 to Man City. So I don't know whether I can take your predictions with any seriousness. But I'm going to give you another chance, Adam. What are you going for for this one? Leicester City. 3 0. 3 0. Um, mate, team news, what's going on? Yeah, I've, uh, relatively strong, I would say. Um, kind of, that's, that's Logan in the back, kind of trying to get his screen time. We've got Travis and Gar was expected. The back four, I wondered if Meps may get a chance, but he hasn't. It's uh, still Smith, Sabadi, Celesi, and Kirkes. Christie's been taken out, which yeah. it'd be interesting how we cope with that, actually. Everyone's saying that's kind of the way we play at the moment, he's so pivotal. But he's gone with uh, Cook and Scott in there. Billings come back in, which doesn't surprise me, he's fresh. Obviously, had a suspension. Uh, Sinister and Dango. So I, I assume Dango up on the right because yeah. I, I wondered that both of them seem to be preferred on the left. So it'd be interesting what we do there. And Unao's got a chance up front, which I expected, but I was hoping Dom would be on the bench and he isn't. Yeah. Apart from that, that's, that's still a strong enough team. Uh, you've seen the teams. Uh, how do you feel about uh, the game now? I think. Um I'm actually a bit more positive after seeing the, the lineup. I think we're a lot stronger than I thought we'd be. Um, no Solanke though. No Solanke. He must be injured. I mean, you, you put him on the bench, wouldn't you? It's an emergency. I think I think Unal's got it in him to score goals. So let's see him do it. And what about Leicester? Because uh, have they made a lot of changes. They have, and I've got a mate who's a Leicester fan who's here today in the away end, and he said, "Yeah, we." we've completely said we don't really want this yeah. um, I think the fact that I don't know about injury front but Mavadidi, Dakar, Vardy none of them are on the bench no, that's, right, that's, yeah. um, that's quite like eye opening but I mean I think all Brighton's playing there's a few you'll know of Connor Cody at the back and Vestergaard's not exactly you know weak um, but they've certainly made changes more than us so you'd like to think we'd have an edge mate but Effin's good mate Dango winner obviously I'm glad you're done because my knees are killing me I've got to get up now always on your knees for me right that's the tent done let's get in there come on I'll tell you what, look at the queues to the Ted Mac all over here tell a lie they start here and I tell a lie again, they actually start here. I thought they were going into 1910. <laughs> wow, that's bad. That's bad. Look at these cues, man. Right. Let's hope we get in there. Come on, North Stand's the same. We're in, we're in. We are in. Oh, there we go, right. And the game has kicked off. It's only 45 seconds in, we're all right. Let's go. All right, here we go. Oh, no. oh my God, oh my God. Early first chance of the bomb. Oh, it's in it. Oh, it's in it. 
again, lively, Alex Scott over the bar. Good to see you, Ryan. Yeah, we get chances, we get chances. Everyone's giving uh, Semenyo a bit of a clap because uh, Unal looks like he's taken a bit of a beating in the boxer. Right. <laughs> well out. What are the stats like in terms of possession so far, mate? They're just edging it at last I looked. Yeah. Um, but that might have made it virtually level. It's, it's not a lot in it, is it? Shots? Yeah, I think we've had about four now. Yeah. Look, most have been off target. Billy's had a few now over the bar. But Come on, boys. Just Come on. Ooh, no, keep a punch. That's the rebound going. Oh, Kirk S, Kirk S. Oh! Close. Oh my god, they've. Oh, Jesus Christ. What's the marking gun? Oh my god, man! Wow. Good shot, low. Travis in the Bedouin area. Second shot, good save. Strong the hand as well to get it clear. They're coming on strong. <laughs> You've been missing this face, but here he is. Hey, where have you gone? Where have oh, you gone? I just need a breather. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You know what's happened. It's so busy, isn't it? It's so it's so much to do when you have a YouTube channel, and um, yeah, I just need a bit of a break. But we've got back in the net, which is fantastic. But, yeah, but mate, um, I don't want to put pressure on you, but since you've been out of action, we've not won a Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carl's here. How are you, mate? You all right? All right. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Good. Thank you. Uh, uh, what do you make of that off? Been all right, but oh, yeah, we just can't get the ball back in there. No, putting the high press on. Do you think we're missing uh, you know, some big hitters? It seems that when Solanke's out and he's not coming on, we know that. When Christie's out, when Clivert's out, we just don't seem don't to perform at our usual levels. Don't have any runners. That's what it looks like. Carl, are we going to win this or what? Yeah, we'll scrape it through. The Tigs have got a theory. And there's no way of knowing this, right? All right, go okay, yeah, yeah. My theory is if we win today, yeah. we'll draw Man City. Or someone big. If we lose, Leicester will like draw Coventry or a, a winnable team. We we don't know, but I don't know. It just feels that type of uh, the magic of the cup, eh? <laughs> yeah, the magic. What did you make of that half, mate? Because there were some good points, but there was a bit of a malaise at times. Leicester hit the post at the end. Travers were the one to save. Like it's not been great. Leicester want this. So for all the endeavour to approach the game right, and we clearly do good tactics, and and we're loving what Iriel is trying to do. I think the theme is that we don't protect the ball enough. I think yeah. we give it away a bit sloppily, so we need to take care a little bit more. And the frustration from previous game against Manchester City is you're not working the goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. And I think we've seen that again in the first half. Look, we got a shot on target late in the first half, just for half time. But need to work the goalkeeper more. I want to see mud on his on his shirt. And um, if we do improve in those areas just a little bit, we win this fixture and win the quarter final. Obviously, there's been a few changes, but nothing major. The big one is probably no Christie and no Dom. Uh, so Unau's, I think, is not that bad, but he doesn't drop back as, as much as, as Dom does for the ball. Um, does that concern you in terms of um, the fact that you know when certain players are out, we just don't seem to tick as well as we usually no, would? It only concerns me to the point that, that they, well, they've because they've not been playing. So we're taking players out who are playing, they get used to each other and we're putting other players in. So I don't think the midfield three have played that badly, but a little triangle rather. Um, but we do miss Christie's engine. Changes, mate. We're just about to head out for the second half, but um, what? uh, what's going on? Uh, it was Jack Taller from the Echo said, looks like Unal is going to be replaced by Antoine Semenyo. So um, Semenyo playing as a number nine. Well, the looks of it, I mean, a few people are saying Semenyo's been warming up more than yeah. anyone else, so he's coming on. A few people are saying it might be Dango, but it looks like Unao's coming off. I, I suppose one of the most pertinent questions I've got is, um, how's your burger? Uh, it, well, for one, it's not a, it's not a burger. Oh, what did you have? I had a... <laughs> I asked right. for a sausage roll and they gave me a beef and pie. So how was it? How was it? It was one pound cheaper than uh, than uh, than I should have paid. For you know, it, like so if I'll you're doing it. an away day rating, like a neutral, like how's how's food and drink are going so far? At uh, ten? Six. I saw Slanky limping a bit before the game. Did you? Yeah, oh, it's a little bit of a worry, but I think I was saying then I was like we miss Christie but then I actually think the midfield three has been alright. Yeah, yeah. I think the link up between the front three, um, Sinistera, Dango, and Unal want on it. 
I'm surprised Cine and Dango didn't switch at some point. They might do now, so who knows? That, that might age all right. But um, yeah, Semenyo probably, if you get him in a charge, in a race, and he'll finish. So I, I still think we'll edge this, mate. One nil. He sounds like a start. We need to get back in. Yeah, Come okay. on. Second half has started. And you know what, mate? You haven't missed a goal today. I haven't, no. Oh, good block, good block. My God. Tom, if you're Andoni, it looks like what Tav and Tristan might be coming on. What yeah. changes would you be making? Uh, I don't know. It'd be interesting if he puts Lewis Cook at the back again, uh, just because Celeste's got yellow. If not, then probably Scott and Watara. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you move City to the left. Tab on the right, and um, I suppose there's plenty of options in there because his team's quite fluid in terms yeah. of moving people around. Yeah. Well, changes have been made over, over to the tactics truck over there. Do you remember Actually, that on the Premiership? Yeah, do you remember when ITV did it? No. Um, um, what's, um, what's he has he has done what I I wasn't sure if he would. He has put Lewis Cook at the back, but I guess that's because Celeste's yellow. Um, top. And Dango off. Uh, as I expected, sorry, they're on the attack. Well in, Scott. But it looks like he's uh, Tavernier on the left, Semenya's gone to the right, Sinistera's got that front. Oh! Oh! I tell you what! Oh, oh, I, I know what he was trying, though. I know what he was trying. What he was trying, if it had come off, would have been amazing. But it's too acute. It's too acute. It's too acute. It's too acute. Oh. I mean, we are. We are lucky they can't shoot. We are lucky. We can have one over the bar, we can have one drag wide right of the post. Sarah's off, five minutes on. Oh, blow up, man. Extra time. RIP me to live with the vlog, editing later than usual. Oh, wait. Right, we're out for the first half, first half of the extra time. Oh shit. Right. Up against it. Come on boys. Oh wow. Oh my god. What a goal. That was a hell of a goal. What a try that was. My god, Travis had no chance. You can only applaud that man. Yeah, out of nowhere, that unbelievable. Wow, we. Wow, wow, wow. 1 0 Leicester. Up against it, man. Fatal with the goal. He's, he is quality, he's quality, but my god, that was a hell of a strike. It feels like it's been coming in a weird way, it's been brilliant. Yeah, it does, it's not, it's not been great. I mean, the chance that we've had, we've looked poor at trying to execute anything with them. It's been a really, as the game's got on, we've got we've stuttered and stuttered more and more, haven't we? And got more and more tired and more and more tired, more, less uh, precision and, and less threat. Really missing Dom. I'm really missing he's anyone the, who can do that the, job. He's the trump card that we just can't pull, unfortunately. It's, We've got a well oiled machine and they are doing so well. And that's the thing that really surprises me the most. I mean, they've made 10 changes tonight. Yeah, yeah, they've made right, changes. We made 10 changes ever in, in, in any cup competition. We've never looked this good. Yeah. Have we? Torian, Torian, Tom missed a goal. Yeah, literally went for a wee on 13. Uh, <laughs> screaming, I saw it on telly. Fair a good chance. Took it well. Kept it down to yeah, his credit. Best, yeah, best finish we've had all night, I think. Just watch it back there. Oh, this has been bad. This has been bad. Bad tonight. Real bad. Full time whistle's about to go. Painful that. Painful. Yeah, look, there we go. Well done, Leicester. Deserved it, really. Deserved it. Oh, how I long for a performance like that again. It's the morning after the night before. Couldn't quite face doing the vlog last night. Understandably, uh, I think Tom summed it up very well in the full-time reaction. I think we just looked a little bit, a little bit toothless. It didn't feel like we tested their keeper. 
I think that there were just loads of blocks. We hit it wide a few times over the bar countless times as well. Couldn't really remember him being overly worked. And really it was just a case of one wonder goal settling the tie. But we should have been doing better throughout. All the different combinations that we used to have weren't there. We look poor when Dom Solanke's not on because he's not got that combination with the number 10. He would have been Cliver, who was also out. He came on to limited effect, you've got to say. And there are certain players that have poor games that had poor games again. That was their chance to, to really impose themselves and just show Andoni that he's got something to think about with their potential inclusion in the side. They didn't really do that. And this weekend we faced Burnley with Dom Solanke limping down the line. It's a knee problem by the sounds of it, but he says he's more likely to be involved than Unal, who went straight off to hospital with an issue with his collarbone. So yeah, goodness knows how it's gonna pan out. But performance wise, I could understand why there's frustration. I don't think it's a meltdown as such. I think we can call a poor performance poor. And by our standards, I think, I think it was poor. And Andoni in his post-match interview alluded to that himself. So he knows what we feel. And um, yeah, look, I think, uh, this corner will be turned as it always is with AFC Bournemouth, whether it's under Andoni or previous managers. I think Andoni's shown enough now to show that he can uh, he can get the team playing and winning games. We've seen some good performances of late, but just not quite clicking in the final third. Hopefully that happens against Burnley. But final score was AFC Bournemouth nil, Leicester City won after extra time. The draw is later on today, I think. Yeah, Leicester, you know what? Favourable draw and they'll be at Wembley. Fair play to him. It could have been us. Maybe next season, eh? Other cherries.